are you a natural, are you 4A, 4B, 4C texture and you have ever thought about texturizing your hair, texturizing, texturizing, both the same thing and you kind of like been on the whim and maybe you thought about it, doing it one day, but then you stop yourself from doing it or maybe you are interested in doing it. So I'm going to come to you all today. This is something that I actually did myself like six months ago and I did not do an initial video on this um but I, I I feel like I should do a video today because I have been natural for like nine years I went natural July 2010 now this is pretty much July of 2019 and I have grown I have grown my hair out um naturally no chemical relaxers whatsoever and i felt like that i needed to come and do a video on what my experience has been for the past six months since i had texturized or textlex my hair so if you're interested and you want to know what my experience has been then keep watching this video So, let's get into the video, you guys. I don't want to keep you all long on here. I try to keep my videos pretty sh much short and concise and directly to the point because, you know, this is you all's time. First and foremost, I just want to say thank you for stopping by on my channel, Elo for Life. Um, so, and all those who have subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. So, let's go ahead and get on with the video, you guys. So, six months ago, I had decided to texturize my hair. And, hmm, I didn't think I really had a really good reason to do it. I think I just did it out of the whim because, you know what, maybe I just wanted to alter my texture a little bit. So, my hair is kind of like 4A, 4B um, texture. And, um, it was nothing wrong with my hair whatsoever. You know, I love my curls. Um, I love being natural. And I'm going to give you the pros and cons on with me one texturizing my hair but um like i said before at the beginning of this video i had been growing out my hair naturally for like almost nine years and i loved it you know I, I really did love it and i think the reason why i texturized my hair is because i know sometimes i get into the habits where i start to wear like updos and ponytails and um give my hair a break from wigs and i think i for some reason i was just like well let me just text next to my hair because like i said it's only hair if I don't like it, I can always grow it back. And my hair grows back pretty fast. So I did that six months ago in January. It's like January 2019. And um, I'm going to show you today what my hair looks like underneath. Um, this today is my wash day. It's Saturday. I don't wash my hair every Saturday. So I haven't washed my hair in like three weeks. So it was time to wash my hair because it's... Uh, you get that, you get built up on your scalp, and that's it was just time for me to clean my scalp. So today, I wanted to come to you all to let you know what I liked about texturizing my hair and what I had missed. Because I used to have a relaxer years ago. I had, you know, we all pretty much relaxers and until we got into this uh realm of, of going natural. So um what I liked about the texturizer was that. It was a lot easier to put my hair in ponytails. Okay, that's the first thing I could say. And that's probably the reason why I did it. Because I'm a ponytail type of person. And um, it was just easier to put my hair in a ponytail. And it was a lot faster to put my hair in a ponytail. And my ponytail style would last a lot longer. It's probably really the main reason. Um, I hardly wear my hair out anyway as it is. Because I'm always in, in some sort of protective style. So... um. In the process of these whole six months of having a texturizer, and I'm gonna, I'm not sure which texturizer I, I know which one I use. Maybe I'll put a picture up so you all can see which one I use. And I did purchase it from Sally. However, um, at first it was all nice and dandy, you know, with a texturizer or text lax, we know that's pretty much just a perm anyway. But you know, you don't leave it on your hair that long. 
I think it was like five or six minutes, you know, just to smooth out your curls a little bit or loosen them up a little bit. And it did that. It did that, you know, just really so. And But one thing with a texturizer and text lax is that I see some people make a mistake here on YouTube is that they want to comb through the texturizer. Now, you guys have to understand that a texturizer is pretty much a relaxer. Okay? It's chemical. It's a relaxer. And when you're putting a texturizer on your hair, you do not comb through your hair or your hair is going to become straight. And I've seen other YouTubers here on YouTube doing that. Like, that's not the way you, that's not what you're supposed to do. And it doesn't even, I don't think the directions even tell you to comb through. But I see some people using, using a comb or smoothing it with their fingers. Don't do that. Your hair is going to become straight. The purpose of a texturizer is not to leave it on as long and to smooth, to loosen up your curls just a little bit. However, I did that just really so. And, um, yeah. So, let's get, I'm going to take my hair down. So, like I said, I want to keep you guys waiting. And I got things to do. So, I got conditioner on my hair right now. And I hope this light's not washing my washing me out. But this is my hair. And I tried to, my hair is black. And I thought I was putting a rinse in my hair, a black rinse in my hair. So, y'all see that little red part up in there? Yeah. I accidentally, I accidentally picked up a deep, dark brown rinse. And, um, yeah. So, the middle part of my hair is brownish. That's boo-boo on my part, of course. So, that really sucks. But, this is my hair. Now, remember I told you all that I have been growing my hair out for... I have been growing my hair for nine years. Whew. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. This has definitely been a journey. Uh, first and for foremost... I'm not going to get a texturizer ever again. <laughs> I'm just not going to do it. I miss my thick thick hair. Um, And it wasn't like it was bad. I just wanted my ponytail style to hold a little longer. So, But as you can see, my hair is short as all get out. And I did trim and cut my hair probably like a couple weeks ago. But you guys, I'm going to tell you my experience. With my hair. Since I've texturized it. My hair used to be down to underneath my boob. Okay. Boop. My hair used to come down like right here. No, that's a lot of information for y'all to see. However. Um. Yeah, I don't know what that stuff is. That condition. I don't know what that is. But however, now I look at my hair. Look at my ends. I hope my camera put this, picked this up. You know. My hair has broken off so freaking bad, okay? And this is for all you naturals who's thinking about getting a texturizer. I don't know if it's a texturizer that I received. I didn't even leave it on that long, and I followed the directions as it as it was it said to do. You know, you mix the oil and all that kind of stuff in there. And um, I'm going to show you my hair. Okay, all this is broken off. Right all up and through there. That has broken off so, so, so bad. Look at that. My hair never used to be like that, y'all. <laughs> oh, my God. My hair ain't never used to be like this. When I start seeing my hair break off, I'm like, oh, my goodness. Now, I have seen some YouTubers that did text right their hair. Text right their hair did have some, um... Some people, it worked well for them, and then some people, it just did not. But I want y'all to see the back, okay? Back of my hair and what's been done. All this back here is broken off. It is so short. Hold on, see how far it goes up. I hope you guys can see that. And like I said, I did not do, hold on, so it goes up even more. Like, and then on, I know right here on the side, 
if you all can see that, I hope I'm in the camera. Oh, uh, yeah, I hope I'm in the camera for y'all. Let's focus. If you all can see that on the side, like my hair had broken off so bad. Okay. Now, I hope y'all can see that, right? You see how short that is? All this is short. Like... It is so short. Let me see if I can do the other side for you guys. Um, and I hope my camera is focusing for you all. But like this right here, all this right here up to here. You see, a right with my hair, all that is real short now. So I'm going to have to just grow my hair back naturally again. No chemicals, no anything. Like... It's just so short right here. Maybe I can see that better in the back. It's just, it's just like it's broken off. And like I said before, my hair used to be, my hair used to be down to my TikTok, okay? And uh, I don't know if that's like conditioner or something's in my hair. I must have got something in my hair. I don't know if that is. Hold on. Uh, okay. That's like a little feather or something. But. Yeah, like look at my ends of my hair. What is that feather crap? Maybe that's coming from this thingy. But look at my hair, y'all. That looks a hot GBD mess, okay? A hot mess. And I can't believe I'm even on camera showing all this, but I don't care. Because I know either some people have experienced the same thing that I've experienced, or... If you ever thought about getting a texturizer and you're contemplating whether you should do it or not, or maybe even a relaxer, you know, like I said, I just wanted to get on here and, and um, go through my experience of what it's been for me. So now I'm in a process of doing a natural hair journey again, going on my natural hair journey so that when I did that text lax or texturizer and it's been six months, um, I'm not going to do it again. My hair was so healthy, really full, and it was long, okay? Yeah, it took some time to detangle it, but I would rather have all my hair and not breakage like I have now and, and deal with the detangling process because to me, it's just not worth it. Um, It's just not worth it. And this is a girl I used to have relaxers when I was younger. And... So, I am letting my hair grow out. So, let's see how far it's gotten so far. So, if you can see with this piece. I shouldn't even be combing my hair with this comb. Hold on. Let me get this comb. Look, look how thin that is. Y'all see that? Look how thin that is. I can see. Can you see me? You can see me. See, you can see right through my eye. That's crazy, right? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That's how much I feel like damage the texture writer has done. So, um, okay, so it's going up. This is the hair. This this is the texturized hair. Hold on. I'm trying to get this camera focused. And I hope I'm not washed out with my ring light, but okay, so. You see that bounce going back up? So this is where, how much my hair has grown. This is, I'll say about right here. This is about how much my hair has grown out. So if I stretch it down, it comes down to here. Because you know we have that shrinkage when we're natural. So my hair has grown about this much in six months. Okay. So, because I'm going on a natural hair journey again, Eventually, I'm going to have to cut this mess out. So, I'm going to give myself an entire year, another six months. And I think in December, once my hair has grown out some more, I'm going to go ahead and cut my rest of my, cut the rest of this off. And I'm going to be, be starting like over completely. And I'm going to do more natural hair journey videos. 
on my channel on how I, I'm getting to grow my hair out, for one. And, um, yeah, y'all, that's about it. So, I just want to get out here and share my experience of what it's been. Look at all that. Just broken off. I never had that before when I was just natural. I never had that before. Whew. I have done a mess of things. That's for damn sure. So, if you all have thought about doing this, it's really up to you. If you want to do a texturizer on your natural hair, if you ever thought about getting a relaxer, it's really up to you. And if you do decide to get a relaxer or whatever, make sure you go to the hairdresser. I haven't had a texturizer in a, in a, in a, in a, or a relaxer in like so many, you know, in nine years. It's, um, maybe my hair just didn't know how to react and, or didn't know how to handle it. You know what? I really don't know. But yeah, this is my hair. And I've had videos where my hair was much longer when I started recording on YouTube. And this is some bull. This is some bull. This is, let me see. That's the back of my hair. This is where my hair is. Ain't that something? It's about right here in the back that's in the back not the front the front comes down right here but i'm gonna let this sucker grow out i'm gonna let this sucker grow out for another six months and i'm gonna do a big chop on camera i'm gonna come back and do a big chop with you all on my channel and then after that it's just pure experience from there so if you like what you see today if there's any videos that you uh, want me to do, if you have any questions about the whole process that I went through, go ahead and hit me up in the comments below. I do try to get back to everybody if I can. I can't always do it, but the majority of the time, I think I do answer back to a lot of people. So with that being said, just stay locked, stay tuned in to my next video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, then go ahead and get subscribed to my channel, okay? And hit the notification bell. And I will see you all in my next video. God bless.